Mr Speaker, this government is committed to improving station access for disabled people. January 2018, and Nusrat Ghani makes history by becoming the first female Muslim minister to speak from the Commons dispatch box. But two years later, the Conservative MP says she was sacked from her position in the Department for Transport because of her Muslim faith. The government's most senior enforcer, Chief Whip Mark Spencer, has said he's the person being referred to in the claims, but has categorically denied the accusation. Number 10 says Boris Johnson also met with Ms Ghani at the time, his deputy today saying official channels had not been used. We have absolutely zero tolerance for any discrimination and any Islamophobia. Um, Ms hasn't made a formal complaint. She was asked to do so. This uh, relates yeah. back to 2020. Um, and in the absence of doing so, uh, there will be no specific yeah. investigation into this. Mr Speaker. Nusrat Ghani says she was threatened with reputational damage if she pursued the issue and didn't think the complaint system was appropriate. We need an investigation, but I don't want investigation from someone from the party. Let there be an independent person coming in. This goes to the heart of attitude of some people in the party. Questions over Islamophobia followed Boris Johnson into Downing Street after he compared Muslim women to letterboxes and bank robbers, something Sky News put to him in 2019. You brought shame on your party when you described veiled Muslim women as letterboxes and bank robbers. Well, Beth, uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm delighted that um, many of my former colleagues uh, seem to dissent from, from, from that view. A subsequent independent inquiry concluded that anti-Muslim sentiment was still a problem within the Tory party, but many accused the report's terms of reference of not being thorough enough. Nusrat Ghani said her experience made her feel humiliated and powerless. She's had support from cabinet ministers, with the health secretary Sajid Javid saying she must be heard, and the education secretary Nadeem Zahawi seemingly going further than the government line and calling for a full investigation. Ahead of the publication of a report into alleged parties in Downing Street, political opponents of the past point to what they see as a terminal problem for the prime minister. We don't just have the scandal; we have the conflicts of interest. We have the dubious appointments, uh, we have foreign money and question marks over that, who's paying the bills for what, and, and I don't think uh, we're going to see this administration end in anything other than scandal. At his country retreat this weekend, Boris Johnson is fighting on several fronts. With spin-off scandals doing damage and instability in the ranks, many now believe the shifting political landscape will eventually prove too much for the Prime Minister. Rob Powell, Sky News in Westminster.